Hey guys, so I caught my second snake in the traps and oh my god guys I'm so happy it's really one of the best things to um, when you're doing research on snakes to find them actually and um, they're very cryptic animals so I'm happy with every snake that I find uh, this is a crossed whip snake it's a beautiful species actually it has um, stripes all along the back and then it's got a cross marking on top of the head it's a diurnal species and it's extremely fast like the way it moves through the grass it almost seems to fly now it eats um, lizards, so uh, mainly skinks and geckos, and also frogs. So this habitat is absolutely perfect for him because there's so many lizards around, and I hear frogs all the time as well. And just look at him, he's absolutely amazing. Such a beautiful snake. <laughs> yeah guys, so um, what we did is um, I took him back to the research center, um, I measured him, I weighed him, and then also with this species, species it's possible to mark them and we do that by clipping off a specific scale from the tail. Um, and that way we will be able to see if it's a recapture or not, which is quite important if you want to know um, densities. This is not possible for all snakes. If it's not possible, for instance, with the blind snakes, because they have such thin skin, um, then we look for other scars or marks on the body um, yeah, to be able to recognize them if we catch them at a later time. I'm so happy I found this snake. Like, I don't think there's anything in the world that could be, make me more happy than finding a snake. I think they're absolutely stunning creatures and everything about their design is so perfect. They're perfect predators, perfectly camouflaged. So this little guy is actually venomous. It's mildly venomous and it's got um, the fangs in the rear of the mouth. So uh, this is not a sophisticated venom delivery system. Um, if we compare it to, for instance, the puff adder who can like clap out its fangs or the cobras who have the fangs in front of the mouth, this little guy has them in the back and he would really need to chew to get the venom into your system. And even then the venom is um, quite harmless to, uh, to people. So I'm all good here. That's the reason why I can also handle it like this. So yeah, this is so cool guys. Yes. Off you go, little buddy. Yep, he's already gone. <laughs> 